Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a very real life evening routine. Um, I didn't decide to do this until like five minutes ago. <laughs> and David is currently on a nine night stretch. Tonight will be night eight of nine. So I've been solo for a long time at this point. Um, but I have definitely had people ask me like how we like make night shift work. So if you have a spouse that does night shift, these are kind of some of the things that we do that definitely make it easier. Um, David is a very hands-on father. He definitely helps me and husband. He helps me as much as possible. He does so many things that I know a lot of husbands don't do. Um, but he has been working night shift for like four or five years now. I can't remember, but basically our entire marriage, he has been working nights. His um, position as a nurse practitioner, which he's been for a little over a year now, he um, is days and nights so he works like 51 percent night shift and 49 percent days he is on a very very long like stretch of nights though i think most of his nights are this end of the year portion um but has he been a nurse practitioner for over a year i'm like trying to think about it in my head now that i said that honestly i don't even know how long he's been a nurse practitioner but he's been a nurse in the hospital setting for a long time he does trauma um pulmonary so he works in a hospital setting and he's very busy but some of the things that he does to help me are um he gets home between like 6 30 and 7 he gets home a lot earlier as a nurse practitioner than when he was a nurse he does still have some days where he will get home really late if they have like a code or something before he's leaving and he has to stay and help out with that or chart or if it's just a really busy night but for the most part he gets home in time to get the kids out of bed and get them breakfast and kind of get them going for the day i usually get up around 7 20 for some reason that is like the time that is on my phone every time i look at it and i like decide to get up for the day so um i wake up between like 7 15 and 7 20 i will get ready and then i will go out there and help with the kids we will get them dressed for school he helps me i usually take collins and get her dressed and emmett will he'll take emmett and get emmett dressed he'll brush his teeth fix his hair um and i do the same for collins and then he helps me load them in the car and i'm out the door by eight o'clock to get them to school so after that he will go to bed um because usually he's having breakfast when they're having breakfast so he helps me in the morning which is a huge it's a huge help honestly um especially after having like the evening shift by yourself and then he wakes up at like 3 3 30 it's been closer to 3 30 during this stretch and he will help me with the kids um as much as possible he takes about 30 to 45 minutes at some point before he leaves to take a shower and get himself ready for work um a lot of times he cooks dinner uh he plays with the kids like he helps me as much as he can if i want to go take a shower i'll go take a shower that's what i did yesterday um but he is basically very hands-on and helping with all of the time that he has and then he leaves for work uh between like 5 and 5 15. so then i'm solo until the a.m but that's kind of how we make like the night shift work he definitely helps me as much as he can obviously there's a lot he can't do but he is very present when he's here which i am very thankful for um obviously it is like really hard to be like well you slept all day and then you get to leave and go to work and like you you just get to keep doing that and i might have been up all night with like a sick kid or something and i don't get to sleep during the day i have to keep taking care of the kids so like it does get hard sometimes but it is what it is um i'm definitely thankful for the help that i do get um and honestly we are just so used to it at this point he's been doing it for so long that i do kind of enjoy the nights alone because i get to like snuggle up in bed watch a really girly tv series or something and like just binge out on it and i just enjoy my time alone too um but yeah, Nine Night Stretch is pushing it a little bit. Uh, the longest stretch that I think he ever did was 20, 
or 25 days. It was when Collins was a newborn, he was doing his nurse practitioner rotations along with um, actually working. So he was getting paid for half of it and not getting paid for half of it. And he was on a hell of a long stretch and I was dying with a newborn and a toddler. Um, but yeah, nine days, he's got a couple extra shifts tacked on. It's not normal. Usually it's like three to four. Um, but he's got like some extra shifts because they're, um, understaffed and stuff like that. But we're going to do an evening routine. Guys, this is not planned at all. I have no idea what we're doing tonight. Um, I don't even know what we're going to have for dinner tonight. I think that I will make, um, potato soup. I went to the grocery store today and picked up some groceries. I picked up a couple things that are quick and easy, but I think I'm going to go with the potato soup because it is freezing outside. It is like 40 degrees. So that sounds really good. Um, it's, what time is it now? 316. So I'll probably start the potato soup soon, I guess. Um, David will be waking up soon and I'll, I have to get it ready early enough for him to be able to eat it. So let's just, let's just get into this evening routine. Let's just see how this goes tonight. All right. It's four o'clock. I actually need to, I'm going to shut this because I just started a load of the kids clothes and it's very loud but I'm gonna get our potato soup going before I wake Collins up she went down a little bit later tonight she actually like puked on the way to school we've been having she's puked three times in the past like seven days since David's been on this night shift so she puked this morning. I did not have a change of clothes. Like she's not sick. She's just getting like choked up. I think it might be like mucus or she's just getting car sick. I have no idea, but she puked and I didn't have an extra set of clothes because I had already used them. So um, I kept her home today and she took like a cat nap in the car. She did not nap yesterday because she fell asleep on the way home from school and then I couldn't get her to go back to sleep. So um, I'll probably wake her up as soon as I finish getting dinner started but guys I love the iPhone because my potato soup recipe is actually a text message from my dad and um, he sent me a picture of it like a long time ago like many moons ago <laughs> and I just am searching in the search bar potato soup and it pulled up the picture from a text message literally from oh 2018 so there you go October 31st almost exactly four years ago so this is super easy. Um, it takes like 20 minutes. It's six cups of water, six chicken bouillon cubes, two packages of cream cheese, and one bag of like the frozen dash, 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 diced hash browns. You can add onions, but I don't like onions, and then like bacon bits and cheese on top. So you just add the water cubes and cream cheese, Stir until melted and then you add in the hash, brow hash browns and you cook until they're soft. So that's what we're gonna do. I woke David up at 3.30. He just got into the shower and Emmett is downstairs in the playroom playing with his toys. Um, and that's where we're at, four o'clock. This officially starts our evening routine. All right, got my ingredients. There's my pot. David did. Guys, still absolutely love all of my caraway cookware. Um, it's my all time favorite. We're gonna be using our little Dutch oven today. I'm gonna close the cabinet on you. I'm literally using the cabinet as my tripod. I'm gonna fill this up with six cups of water and get this bad boy going. I see that the stove scares the ish out of me because the lighter on the gas is like right where your hand it like the flame comes out right where your hands at oh my gosh I literally am sweating now um okay kids music because I'm gonna turn on this vent fan
What you playing with? I'm about to roll that piece. I'm about to like turn in it so we're intending it's a robot snake. A snake? Yeah, it's not a real one. It's a Lego one. Oh. I'm intending. Oh, I love it. Does it have a transformer to teach it to be nice and this little has for spying food and then it eats it? You have a really good imagination, buddy. Yeah. Look at it slithering along. 410. So let's go wake up Princess Girl. Um, Emmett is downstairs lying as you saw. And we'll see if she's awake. Sometimes she's awake and I think she's asleep. Pie. <laughs> oh, so bright. There she is. Show everybody your rooster. Took her little ponytail out before I lay her down. I always like to take her hair down. I feel like it would be so uncomfortable sleeping in that, but I know a lot of people leave them in. Okay, let's get your diaper changed. No. <laughs> Say no is your favorite word, huh? not a morning person and it's morning for you but in your happiest voice can you tell us how your, your stretch is going so far PG I mean okay had some bad nights had some okay nights overall pretty good yeah it's still long <laughs> <laughs> what you got? What are those? What are those? <laughs> hey, what are those? Duckies. 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 You want these? Yeah. What do you say? Fish. You want to eat some, Collins? No, it's not your. It's not your big bacon. It's little pieces of bacon. You want to try it? Uh, it's like a French fry. Oh. Or a potato smile. <laughs> All right, our dinner is ready. This is what it looks like. Not even gonna pretend like we eat dinner as a family when David works nights because we don't. Um, as soon as the food's ready, I'll usually start eating. Just so happens we're eating at the same time right now, but we also only have three bar stools, so I'm standing at the bar eating. David's scarfing his food down, and 
Usually the kids eat after us because a lot of times they won't even eat what we're eating. I did make Collins a plate of potato soup and see if she'll eat it. She's never tried it before. Do you want to get up here and try your try some potato soup? Come here. Um, but it's also only five o'clock. No. So usually they eat between five and five thirty. Look. Mmm, cheese. Let me get you a fork. Well, he's gonna try this. So yeah, David's gotta leave in like 15 minutes, so he's gonna scarf his food down. I'm gonna scarf my food down, and then I'll worry about the kids eating. Um, that's how it goes. What? She wants that now. Okay, Daddy will get you some. Can you try this, and then you can have some. Try it, and then we'll get you some blueberries. Try this first. <laughs> I'll get you some more. Don't worry. I'm going to request it some blueberries and strawberries. And of course, Collins had to have some too. It's 5.15, so David's leaving for work. He's gonna tell the kids bye. It's so hot. Collins did not even try the potato soup, and... Bye. 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 Okay. Yeah, and then ate all of his strawberries and blueberries. They decided that they wanted fish sticks. I haven't had these in a really long time, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, Emmett's super pumped, so. Oh. Do do? Um, fish sticks, oranges, veggie straws. And ketchup, always. Say love you. Oh, she blew a kiss. Um, Emmett, those <laughs> those fish sticks are super hot. Okay, so be very careful. Okay. Water. Yep. There's yours. Let me get your fork. Fuck. There you go. You have a fork. It's on your plate. Like I said, it's 5.15 while they're eating right here in my view. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the kitchen. So I'll put the potato soup in some Tupperware. I'll clean the few dishes that are in the sink and just get everything straightened up so I don't have to do it tonight. Um, since I'm solo, it just makes like before bed easier because everything's clean and I don't have to worry about doing it after I get them to bed because I just wanna lay in bed and eat some Oreos at that point. I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy are you all done 
Collie, are you all done? Yeah. No. <laughs> well, this is what she ate. So basically everything. Looks like she's still snacking. She also has her snack of goldfish from earlier that she's wrapping up. Emmett is playing over there, but he ate just about all of his too. He has like half a fish stick and two veggie straws. Um, I've got the kitchen all clean. I just need to wipe this down when little miss is done. I think Emmett just went into the pantry. Let's see what he brings. Also for anyone that always wonders about Cooper, he's always right here at our feet, waiting for food all the time. He is never far. <laughs> he has become such a little scrounger. It's 5.48, we're officially done with dinner. Kitchen is completely clean, I just need to put that um, Leftover food up before I go to bed. It's still really hot, so it's cooling in the Tupperware. I am going to get this laundry out. It looks like there's like 15 minutes until it's done. So we'll just play up here. Once that's done, I will fold it. I am like real big on folding the laundry as soon as it comes out of the dryer. That way, maybe I can come in here and it won't be so loud. They're so loud. Um, I like to fold the laundry as soon as it comes out of the dryer. That way it is done um, and we can put it up instead of it sitting in like a basket and getting wrinkly. You can just do it as soon as it comes out. It's so much easier. Um, so it's the kids clothes. So I am, <laughs> I'm gonna fold it and then put their clothes away. We'll go downstairs, we'll play in the playroom um, for a little bit. I'll put a movie on the TV. They probably won't watch it, but I'll put one on and we will play. And then we will do baths in bed. Um, Bye. That's the plan. Good, go get a look. Bye. 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 Go get your trucks. Bye guys. Bye. Bye <laughs> This is turning into a mom fail evening routine. It's 6.05 and I'm getting ready to load the kids up and we're gonna have to go to Walmart really quick because I just got a message from the kids' teachers um, and they have fall parties tomorrow for Halloween. So I have got to go get stuff for the party <laughs> for them to take yeah. to their class because I was, yeah baby, I'm coming. I was not prepared. I did not realize that it was tomorrow. So I've got to go get stuff for their class. So we're going to load up 6.05. Good thing bedtime's not till like 7.30 or 8, but Emmett's excited. He loves going to Walmart. So we're going to do this really quick. Then we'll be back to make some goodie bags. <laughs> Woo! Usually if David was home, I would just wait till the kids are asleep and then I would um, go by myself, but since, hey Cooper, Cooper, back in the house. But since he is at work, you gotta do what you gotta do. We're back, it's 7.07, .07. we actually got back like at seven. I ended up just stopping at the dollar store um, and picked up candy. You okay? I got the treat treat bags that they had so I got several packs of those and then I just bought chocolate what did he hit you hey Emmett let's be careful okay don't hit sister okay it was an accident can you tell her you're sorry please um I got chocolate more chocolate I tried to get chocolate um, that would be easy for Collie's class, like for the little babies. Um, but it's Halloween. You know. They didn't have any kind of like little gadgets that I could put in the treat bag, so we're just gonna go with chocolate. And now I think Emmett's isn't even until Monday. Hey guys, it's time to start calming down, okay? I don't think Emmett's is until Monday, and so we might've just got off for no reason. That's, that's okay. 
Um, the kids got these really cool wands. Do you want to show them what you got? I got Spider Man, but what comes see in the dark? It's a glow stick with Spidey, and it, who did you get? Coco. Coco. <laughs> yeah, you have to go in the dark and see. What and then, um, the dollar store was right next to an ice cream shop that is delicious, the best ice yeah, cream ever. So we just swung through and got some ice cream too, because why not? It's seven o'clock on a Wednesday. I got a small milkshake and I just put like a tiny bit in a cup for each of them. So yeah, but we are going to start bags. Um, if you've been around my channel for a while, you're probably like, oh my gosh, Brooklyn. It's past seven and your kids aren't in bed yet, but um, Emmett goes to bed. Hey, hey, it's time to calm down, okay? Guys, it's Emmett. Emmett, Cooper's not trying to do anything to you, okay? I need you to, hey, Emmett, it's time to calm down, okay? <laughs> it's time to calm down. Oh, um, he's not gonna get that, I promise. Anyways, Emmett is usually in bed at like 8, 8.15, and Colin's, since she naps until after four, she can go to bed like seven. Yeah. So we're gonna do a bath. I'm gonna do a bath really quick. You guys know how the bath game goes. I'm not gonna film that. Um, it's just a bath. They don't get baths every night, but if they do something, if they go to school, if they're dirty, they sleep on themselves like Collins did today, we get baths. Um, and the biggest thing with Collins is her hair. She has super curly hair. So after bath, we'll fix her hair and that's where we will reconvene. Hey, Collins, are you ready for a bath? Sissy got her bath um, and she's in her jammies. These jammies are so cute, guys. They're from Little Crowns and Capes. They're the princess jammies. They're like bamboo. Oh, sweetest things ever. She wears these. I think this is like the third night in a row. We love them. And it's probably going to wear superhero ones tonight. But um, yeah, she's clean. We're going to fix her hair. She has super curly hair. Um, so I don't brush it, but after when she takes a bath at night, I put a product in it. I usually just do like a curl definer. This one is from Previa. I also really like the, um, Bumble and Bumble one. There's a couple different ones I like. So tonight, I actually think I'm gonna use just this. This is not your mother's curls. This one is a defining cream. I'm just gonna use this and then I blow dry her hair on cold. Um, and I like hold the curls. This blow dryer doesn't have a diffuser. I'm like trying to get one for it. But I'm gonna blow dry it so she doesn't go to bed with the wet hair and it's like not a complete frizz ball when she wakes up. But it usually is, but we just get it wet in the mornings and then use this and it makes her curls like really tight and fresh again. So we're gonna do that super quick. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever Go the books line. are red. We're gonna go check your temperature. Cause she feels warm. On the oh my sweet baby. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up, cause nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better 
Holly is down. I'm like out of breath because I'm running all over the place. So it's 7.43, Collins is down. She will be asleep so fast. She is so tired. Um, Emmett and I are down in his bathroom. He's gonna get a bath now. And I just had to run upstairs and <laughs> make sure you guys remember I still have laundry in the dryer that I'm supposed to be folding. Um, his blankets that he sleeps with. I'll turn it on in just a second. His blankets that he sleep with every night were in the dryer, so I need to make sure they were dry. So I just ran up there and got those. I'm gonna give him a bath. Then we'll show you what his little routine looks like when he's done with bath time. But almost there. It's almost. Like can you? Both kids asleep. <laughs> oh, you're picking out your socks. Is, are you spidey? Uh, looks like they're just red and gray. He's got his superhero jammies on from Little Towns and Capes. They're so, <laughs> so cute. I have the hiccups. I think they actually launched those today. Black Panther! You wanna wear those? Okay, sit up here. They're Black Panther. I'm not sure if they will still be available by the time this video goes live, but they have other really cute desi designs too. Um, um. But they have other really cute designs too. And I think I have a 10% off. I think it's 10%. It's Collins 10. Nah. Rub it. Rub it. Oh, be careful. Don't knock it over. Uh, Rub it. I've talked about little crowns and capes so many times. I'm just like flinging them in here. But <laughs> I love Ashley. She's a just small business. She's actually did YouTube. That's where I met her. And she does everything like out of the basement of her house. Like, Rub it. Full blown supporting a mama. Emmett sleeps with two blankets every night. Also from yeah, Little Crowns. Yeah, because I brought two blankets. Also from Little Crowns and Capes. This is his superhero one, and this this is the cowboy one. <laughs> he loves them. Those are the ones I had to go fetch out of the dryer. All right, Emmett's ready. One thing we do is we turn on all of his little lights up here so I'll do that and then we will turn on his sound machine get him all tucked in I drink some plenty of water I gotta dig out that sheet what sheet lay down what sheet that sheet what sheet that sheet that star is a sheet. That blanket, it's a sheet. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Run! Run! What? <laughs> what? I love you. Love you. so, so good. Night, night. All right, Emmett. I'll see you in the morning. Night night. Look how cool this is. And it sleeps with these. They go off in one hour. Our Captain America doesn't auto turn off, so I don't turn that one on. And he's got his blue light with rain, right? Okay, I love you. Night night. Alright, the final outage for oh boy Cooper go potty
All right, guys, and on that note, I just poured the last of my wine, and it's not even half a glass. This is the Easley Sweet Barrel Red. It's literally like $9 at Walmart, unless it's probably gone up, because that was like two years ago. So who knows, but my friend Lauren, Lauren, if you're watching this, she introduced this to me a while ago, and it's like my go-to wine now, and I, the past two Walmarts, um that i went to did not have it so yeah i don't usually drink wine every night but on this little stretch that we've been having um i've been having a glass here or there and it's here tonight well half glass so i'm gonna enjoy that i'm gonna stuff these dang goodie bags um that we might not even need. I got my laundry folded. The kids were in bed by like, I think I left Emmett's room at like 8.05 and you guys saw it. Collins was like 7.40ish, I think. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed our super raw uncut evening routine. We don't always make a six o'clock run to the Dollar General for goodie bags, but when we do, hashtag mom life. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. You can share and comment and do all of those interaction things. It definitely helps my channel and I appreciate it so much. You can also follow me over on Instagram to stay up to date with me and I will see you guys in our next video. Thanks for watching.